Hey everybody, welcome to My Usual Me and welcome back to Myth of Empires where today I'm going to talk about the boundary markers and how you're going to be able to make them. Also, how you're going to be able to get the second and the third one because you're allowed three in the end as your guild advances. It takes quite a bit to get the second and the third one, so I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to make it a lot easier on you. Now, what are the boundary markers? Boundary markers are the things that are the big brother to the flags. The flags keep things from degrading. You get two flags when you first start the game. Each player has two flags, which allow things in a circle to keep things from degrading, but it does not protect you. It only keeps things from falling, uh, falling apart into dust. This boundary marker will actually protect your items. So we're gonna go ahead and look at this right quick. And if I go like this, we're gonna show the range. And what you'll see here is that the white marker, this on the PVP server, the white marker is the, is the boundary of protection. Where every, whenever you pay your protection fee, you're going to be able to be protected all the way to the white line. Now, the degradation, like things disintegrating, that's protected all the way down to the blue line, which you don't know. You can see the blue line in the water down there. We have a pretty good sized claim. Okay, so the boundary marker can get really, really big. Okay, so you're, all, you're allowed three of them in the end. Now what I'm going to do is we're your first one is going to be in the guild workshop guys and that guild workshop if you go into the guild tech right here on the bottom part of the screen guild tech it's going to be the guild workshop is going to be the first thing in guild tech that you can get and you're going to be able to open this up at level 12 you're going to unlock it at level 12 but you can't make the uh, the guild workshop to level 15. That's going to take uh, 12 copper ingots uh, 35 clay mine um, 25 rubble and 50 branches and then you're gonna need a few things um, you're gonna need copper you're gonna need branches and rubble to build it the very very small amount it doesn't really it's really not even worth mentioning but we should mention it and then at level 16 you're gonna be able to unlock the boundary marker now the boundary marker uh, takes a few more items it takes 15 copper ingots it takes 45 clay it takes uh, 30 30 35 stone 35 stone and 18 hardwood. It's not really that big of a deal, but you definitely want to make your first one as soon as possible and place it so that you can protect all of your buildings. And that's going to be the first one. Okay, that's the first one. Now, and also you're going to have, there's some, there are some other rules to this. You're going to have to feed it once per week with some things it's going to ask you for. This is not going to, what it's asking me for is not going to be what it's going to ask you for right off the bat. In the bottom right hand side of the screen, it says you're going to need, uh, like for me, I'm going to need, uh, the 273 hardwood, 273 stone, 546 clay, and then I'm going to need activity points, 45,406 activity points um, to make sure that everything is protected from degradation. Like I said, I'm on the PVE server, so it doesn't really matter, okay, for me. But to, and then the next one down is what you need to upgrade. Now, we're at level 7. This boundary marker is at level 7, and but next we need coal, uh, kaolin clay, rare hide, and black iron ore. Don't worry about that for the first few levels because all this stuff is really, really simple stuff in the first few levels. It's not till level seven where things start to get up to into the higher tier. Actually, level six required us to have um, flawless hide. So, but anyway, you can get flawless hide from your animals. Really simple stuff. Anyway, guys, so once you have your first marker, you'll be like, okay, well, all of a sudden I found, I, I've made myself like say an iron mine like we did over here. Um, next to this iron node right here. We live right here out and we were like we want an iron uh, iron mine So we went ahead. I put down we are uh, we, not I we as a guild went out And we went ahead and put a fence around this one spot that that looked like it was gonna be dense iron We put an iron mine in put down a boundary marker and but we were like wait what but it wouldn't let me put down the, the boundary marker It says we are over our limit so what I had to do for level for the second boundary marker is we go into guild skill and then we go to internal affairs and this is what you came here for more the better it has to be level one vast fortune has to be level one for the second one you need at least 40 renown okay at least 40 renown remember all this is going to cost copper all this is going to cost activity points so it's going to take you a minute before you're going to be able to build all this stuff uh, so you might want to get on this before you think about expanding your territory or putting satellite bases out your uh your step by step has got to be level four okay and then you will be able to unlock your expand territory which is increase your boundary marker construction limit by one you're only allowed two extra ones so this is right now uh, as far as we can go but to get because to get the second one guys we need a guild level of seven and we need a rise step by step to level six it's at level four right now 
So what's happening is we're going to, because my renown is 40 for level four, I'm expecting it's going to have to be, and this is because this is just logic, game logic, uh, rise step by step to level six. It's the most we can get, which means our renown has to be 60. Okay. It has to be level 60. Now, I don't think that we have to raise this up because it's not asking me for anything here, but we might, it might ask me to get more of the better and vast fortune to level two, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think it's good. This is just, uh, this is going to up your, your, uh, percentages of, uh, yeah, of resource collection and, uh, and yeah, collected resources limit. Um, so it, it might just, I think this, I don't think you're going to have to go up with this. I think this is just going to be renowned level 60, rise step by step six to get your expanded territory two, which is going to give you a second boundary market. And then boundary markers are always the same. They're always the same ingredients. But remember, every single boundary marker is going to be asking for, for, uh, for resources. So be aware, it's going to cost you resources every single week for all your boundary markers. So make sure you're gathering the stuff that it's asking for. But fortunately, the lower level the, the boundary marker, the less it's going to ask for. Like I think the one over there uh, at our iron mine is asking for sticks, stones, and clay. I think it's really simple. I'm pretty sure it might be different. But it's really simple stuff. And it's really not that difficult. Like, even a solo player could do it once you get to that point. So, anyway, guys, that is what it takes to get your second and your third boundary markers. Hopefully, this helped you out. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, just do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next thing that I do, which will be to show you that iron mine in the next video. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.